everyone. My name is Veronica Morphy, and this is a brief presentation on our paper on fusion by acoustic event detection, which is also a new task introduced in the case 2021. During this presentation, I will give a brief description of the task, then introduce the data sets used for development and evaluation of the submitted systems, and finally wrap up with some overall comments on the submissions. So first and foremost, the task. Fusion bioacoustic event detection is a novel area of research that emerged from a need in monitoring biodiversity and animal behavior. The goal is to annotate long recordings that experts usually can only provide very few annotations for. As depicted in this figure, one can usually acquire few annotations of a specific event of interest for a long recording. We mark them as provided events in this figure. And then a few shot sound event detection system is used to detect the rest of the occurrences of this event in the recording. This is a normal task, not just for bioacoustics, but for every field, as state-of-the-art fusion learning has only been used for event classification tasks and not detection where time-specific information is important. In order to develop systems for the task, we accumulated and used a variety of bioacoustic data from both mammals and birds collected with various equipment in a plethora of environments. Our data sets include meerkat and hyena vocalizations, as well as bird flight calls, jackdaw calls, and dawn calls. And also an arrangement of both mammal and non-passerine bird vocalizations that are part of the Macaulay Library data set. During the task for the development set, we released all event annotations, while for the testing set, we only released the first five annotations for the events of interest in its recording. Uh, from all the submitted systems, everyone adopted prototypical networks for their submission, mainly based on our proposed baseline method. Uh, data documentation was also applied by the majority of the teams. All systems also used post-processing in order to remove small um, false positives based on our proposed post-processing method. Uh, furthermore, PCEN was a very popular choice as input features. And most systems had very different performance based on the data set that we're evaluated on. We generally noticed a drop in performance on the Don chorus recordings, while systems tended to do better on Mirkat vocalizations and the Macaulay Library data set that also consists of mammal vocalizations. For more details on the task, the submitted systems, and the results, feel free to check out the Talent Spotlight and session. Uh, poster session. Thank you all for your time.